Ladies and gentlemen, she's writing her opening <laughs> essay. Incent. All right. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to respond in the minutes. You just have to. I see. Hello, incredible one. Darnielle Age over here. So excited to welcome you to another episode of Incredible Factor TV. Now, if you ask me, this is the place you must be if you want to learn how to grow your business, period. This week, we're taking another question from our creative director, Blake. He always gives me really, really good questions for thought. Can't wait to see what he's got for me this time. Blake? All right, Darnielle <laughs> Jervy, it's your boy. <laughs> question. You're an entrepreneur, got your business started, mm -hmm. and it's just not succeeding. Mm -hmm. When do you throw in the towel? Mm -hmm. If you do throw in the towel, mm -hmm. and if you don't throw in the towel, how do you handle with mm -hmm. your family, your friends, everybody telling you to throw in the towel and try something new? Mm. How do you handle that? Oh, this is a good question, and it's not... It's not one I can readily answer. I'm going to give you a response. But the reason why is because I don't throw in the towel. Like I, I, but I also don't, let me say this. I also don't step out without being clear that this is what I'm supposed to do. So I think the first lesson is before you start a business, when you're, you know, working a full-time job, and, and thinking that entrepreneurship and having your own business might be for you, you want to make sure that whatever it is you're endeavoring to do, A, there are people who are already doing it. And the reason why you want other people to be already doing it is because then you know there's a market for it. You know, people are investing in that if someone else is already doing it. Um, and you want to make sure that you definitively are solving a problem that people are going to be willing to pay for a solution to. So if those two things are happening and your business isn't successful, then you have a different problem. The problem isn't the business idea or concept itself. It's the process that you're using to grow your business. So it's probably a marketing and sales problem. And if you're having a marketing and sales problem, you really only have two choices. You can either learn how to market and, and position your business to sell your products and services, or you can get a job. Like that's really the only option. Um, because marketing and sales is universal and it doesn't matter what kind of business you have. If you can't get found and you can't get paid, you don't have a business. So if you have verified that the concept and what you do is viable in the marketplace and people are buying it, yet people aren't buying it from you, then you're going to need help. You're going to need business education, you might need a business coach or a mentor or some training. You're going to need something to teach you the things you don't know so that you can take this idea, this problem that is being solved readily in the marketplace and position yourself for people to see you as a solution to that same problem. That's the only way it's going to happen. If you're around friends and family who keep telling you to just get a job and do it, you kind of have to, you have to, you have to. You have to kind of check yourself there. So either they're right because you're unwilling to do the work that's necessary and it is likely going to involve investment of some sort, not just investment of time and energy, but investment of money or um, they're not right. They they're way off and they don't get it and they don't understand um, who you are. And then you're going to have to do the work to prove them, them wrong. Like my personality is I can show you better than I can tell you. And tell me I can't do something and I'll show you that I can. I'm not sure if you have the same personality, but you kind of have to have that. If your friends and family, as you're working and you're going through the process and you're building this thing up because you've made a decision to fight for your business and learn what you don't know, and they're still talking crazy, then you need to separate from them. You know, when you're a child, you don't have a choice. You have to be around your, your family because you're a child. But when you're an adult, you absolutely have a choice where you go and where you spend your time. So don't spend your time with them. Spend your time around people who edify you, who support you, who add value and help you to get access to the things that you don't have. But now I want to hear from you. What's your two cents? How would you respond to this question? Have you ever dealt with this scenario? Ha have you been in a business that isn't working and everybody's telling you to just give up? 
what did you do or what didn't you do and what difference did that make? I cannot wait to hear what you have to say when you join us for the after party that goes down on our blog immediately following the episode. And if you enjoy this episode, do yourself a favor and subscribe. I come with new stuff just like this every single week. If you subscribe, you'll be one of the first to know. And then go ahead, share it on social media. Let your friends, fans, and followers know that at Incredible Factor TV, we are positioning you to build a business that serves you. Now, this has been Darnell A. Jervy from Incredible Factor TV saying, be better, be stronger, and more than anything, be incredible. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.